Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. To remove the front bumper, you can do this on the ground. We just have it up in the air so you can see what we're doing. But you need to come under here and pop out all of these clips. These are holding on the front bumper. Just a couple back here, over here. Just gotta look for all these clips. Some ears might be missing or broken, but you just wanna take those out first before you go up top to start to remove the bumper. So I'm gonna use a clip removal tool. That's actually supposed to go under the clip. Pry it down, pull that clip out. Just go along and do the same for all of them. Sometimes they get stuck with dirt. Might need a smaller, thinner screwdriver. They get stuck, get bound up with dirt. Pop them out. They go along. And do this for the whole bumper. Pulling the last one out of here. Our bumper is loose at the bottom. And go up top and finish removing it. There's a Phillips head screw inside this opening here in the splash shield. Gonna remove that. I'm going to repeat this for the other side. We're going to remove this plastic air guide in the engine compartment. Let's get some push clips. Use a small flat bladed screwdriver to work those up. I'm going to use my trim tool. Pop them out. Do the same for the other one. This is actually clipped underneath this little piece of trim here. You can kind of pull it up, just sort of pop it out. And do the same on this side, just kind of pull it up, pop that pin out. Kind of push it this way a little bit, lift that up. It's got a lip that's kind of pushed into the grill, so it'll just kind of pull out. Pull this trim out. I need to pull that clip out. Just gonna pop this one up, just so I can move this trim a little better. Just need to slide it over like that. And then we're gonna pull this out from behind the grill. Slide it up and off of the hood latch. Flex it off. Just spray a little rust penetrant on these. These are T35 Torx. Break them free. And do this for the one on the other side. With all the bolts and clips removed from the bumper, you should be able to pull it out of the clips that it snaps into. So it snaps into just like that, into these brackets. So you're gonna pull it out. It's gonna sound like it's breaking, but it's really just breaking free of the clips. So I'm just gonna pop it. Just like that. Do the same for the other side. You reach your hand in here. Just give it a swift tug. Pop it right off. And then we can put this aside. I'm gonna spray some rust penetrant on the backside of this bolt because it goes through. And I can see it's kind of rusty. Try to undo this bolt. It's really rusty on our car and it's just twisting because it's just thin sheet metal. So what I'm gonna do is this whole thing is like a horn bracket. I can just push the horn up, just bend it slightly out of the way. It's just thin sheet metal. I'll take my 12 millimeter and I'm gonna remove the bolt that is holding the bracket to the car. And then I'll put the bracket on the bench in a vise and try to remove the horn. I'm just gonna take this off. Now 
uh, loose, I can push this lock in on the connector, pull it off, and I'll go over to the bench. And I'm just gonna gently put this in the vise. Take, take my 12 millimeter, try to remove it. That's really rusty. Spray some rust penetrant in here. And it's a little loose, but it's so rusty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it again and try to work the rust penetrant into the threads. Try to get this in here as best I can. I'll just work it back and forth. Now I've got it free. I'm gonna take some pliers and just bend this back roughly where it was. Gee, if the pliers won't do it, I can also put it in the vise. And we'll just gently put it back into place. Perfect. One bracket goes here. This little tab kind of gets held in that hole. Reinstall it. down, actually bend this down because I kind of bent it roughly back in the same spot. So the horn sits between these two little tabs to keep it from spinning. I'm going to reinstall that bolt, get started, tighten it down. Okay, lastly, reconnect the electrical connector. And the horn is reinstalled. Let's reinstall our bumper. Push it straight in. And line it up in the brackets. Slide it up into place. Kind of feed the fender liner underneath it. And then pull it up and push it onto the bracket. Push it onto the bracket under the headlight. And go to the other side, do the same. And line up the other side. is caught. Push it in there. Let's pull that all into place. Push the fender liner so inside of the bumper here. It's okay if that pops back out. Just pop that back in. The bumpers clicked into place and reinstall the screws and all the clips. Reinstall the self-tapping screws, pull the end of the bumper on. Just repeat that for the other side. And reinstall these screws. I'll reinstall this air guide. Let's 
kind of flexible, so I'm just gonna slide it up and over. And you're gonna fit it over these little rubber bump stops. These tabs actually go underneath the fender. And then this lip goes behind the grill. I'm gonna kinda flex it into place, just like that. And you can bend this up. Slide this over. Fold this up, it goes like that. Do the same for the other side. Kind of flip this in, push it in, flip this over, put this under the plastic trim. Reinstall the clip that was here. And reinstall this clip on this side and repeat that for the other side. And reinstall these push clips. And do the same for both sides. Close the hood. And replace all the push clips. Just go along the bumper and reinstall all your push clips. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.